Welcome everybody to a brand new video. I'm your host Dark, and today we're working the night shift at a movie theater in Masker at the Mirage. We got this little jester dude looking at us. I don't like the way he's staring. Just look at me like I'm a bowl of popcorn. He's got a discount, and he's trying to eat me. Halloween 1988, just outside the Mirage. Ooh, this is cool. So this takes place during Halloween. Am I too early or am I too late? I can't believe I'm stuck working here. Oh, we got voice acting. Whoa! Oh, don't this this is the whoa! I don't know why Phil what the? to do these old black and white midnight shows every October. Nika, I don't want to scare you, but I think you just got like twenty types of cancer just from that one drag. Did y'all see how much smoke came out of her lungs? I think I saw a part of her lung. Oh, she's gonna take another one. Oh my God! <laughs> this is so bad. It's almost home. funny. I'm glad Ben will be here to keep me company. So I'm playing as Nika. I'm working the night shift on Halloween, but I have a colleague working with me. He's called Ben. Well, I better head inside. The doors will be opening soon. So that can't be that bad, right? We got somebody working with us. So worst case, I mean, I'm a girl. He's a man. It's 1988. So you know, the gender roles are still kind of different. Uh, so if push comes to shove, he's going to have to save me. Matter of fact, he's going to have to sacrifice himself. It's such a foggy night. Ooh, the moon is beautiful. I like the clouds. We can see every single star in the universe. Objective updated. Let's see. Talk to Ben in the box office. Okay, so this is the Mirage. I guess it's the name of the movie theater. Which movies are playing? Remember, this is 1988. So some of these movies might sound old, but they're actually pretty new. So we got House on Haunted Hill. No, that's actually old. That's like a black and white movie. We got Nosferatu. Ain't that the dude from SpongeBob? We got Night of the Living Dead. Okay, so we're playing old school horror movies. Even for 1988, these were old school. And this right here is Ben. Hey, Ben. You work in the box office tonight, I see. Oh, is that what they call it, the box office? I didn't know that. Yeah. I had no idea. Who knows what kind of ghosts and ghouls are going to wander in tonight. <laughs> oh, my God. Ben's the character. Right? Who wants to watch an old black and white movie on Halloween night anyway? I know I would rather be out partying right now. Bill loves these late night shows and he's the boss. So here we are. You guys feel tension? I just wish we weren't so short staffed. It can get kind of hectic sometimes. Speaking of which, Bill needs you to load and test the projector before we open for the night. I believe he's up in his office waiting for you. Wait, Phil is here as well? Why am I scared? There's like two other men All that right, are going to protect me. Head inside then. All right, let's go in there. I kind of felt a little tension. I feel like uh, Ben was flirting with me. And I don't know if I was flirting back. Let's open up this door. Oh, this looks nice. One of those old school movie theaters. Let's see what they're playing. We got Whispers of Caroline. Are these real movies? Aurang Ghost Interstellar. We got Road to Lulu. Man, these things look AI generated. I'm not saying they are. I just think they kind of look that way. Like this one got the special award. <laughs> What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean special? All right, so Ben told me Phil's waiting for me up in the projector room. I'll be there in a second. I just want to kind of see what else we got going on here. We got like arcade games. Ooh, Mr. Top's Murder Mayhem. He looks like the Babadook. We got Suffer the Night. We got Terror at Oak Heart. Wait, these sound like actual games. We got fizzy drinks. Ooh. Wait, what's this? How, how does this thing work? Wow, this looks old school. So this is like a, a drink dispenser. You got a can. The can falls through there. <gasps> I have a whole body under me. Is it just me or do I look really short? Am I short? I can't tell. Uh, so how exactly do I go to the projector room? So this is the cinema right here. Wait, this is staff only. I feel like this is the way we're supposed to go. Oh, yeah. This goes up to the projector room. And this goes into the actual, like, movie showing screen thing. All right, Phil. Oh, my gosh. This place actually looks nice. The Stitcher. We got a bunch of other movies. Wait, do we only play horror movies at this theater? Because all of the posters are for horror movies. Man, I wish I had a theater like this near me. I'd be there like once a year at least. Hopefully more. All right, Phil. Am I am I fat? How come I can't go through the door if only one of them is open? Can I go sideways? I got to open both doors to go through. Hey there, Phil. Hey, Phil. Ben told me you needed to see me. Good evening, Nico. Yes. <laughs> I know I have you running the snack bar today, but I need your help with the film projector as well. 
Sure. Uh, what don't do you need me to do? Don't say anything. Don't say anything. He can't help it, okay? I need you to grab the footage from Eric down in the basement. And then load and test the film on the projector. Wait, there's an Eric? So there's three men working with us. How can this game ever get scary? Everything should be good with it. I just want to double check and make sure. Sounds simple enough. I'll go see Eric. One more thing. Oh, God. Before you go and see Eric, can you please gather all of the trash from the trash bins and take it to the dumpster out back? <sighs> sure thing. Did y'all hear that? He was dying going through that last sentence. Awesome. Thanks, Nico. All right, Phil. Uh, Maybe you should start working out. Oh, don't eat that much. Like, if you eat popcorn, don't put so much butter on it. I think if you don't do that, it's actually kind of... It's not bad for you. So we got a new objective. We're supposed to grab all the trash from around the theater. I don't know why we would do that if there's going to be like theater goers later. The trash is going to be filled anyways and I'm going to have to do it again. So where exactly is all of the trash? Wait, he said in the movie theater? Oh, right here. We've got six trash bins left. Where the heck are all these trash bins? I only found these two. Am I supposed to go in here? Oh, yeah. Wait, they got trash bins in here? Oh, yeah, they do. All right, but well, now we finally get a look at the movie theater. It's kind of dark. Can I turn up the brightness? Please tell me I can do that. Okay, I can't. That was wishful thinking. So that up there is the projector room. We were supposed to test it earlier, weren't we? Phil didn't say anything about that. Or I wasn't paying attention. Got more trash over here, hopefully. Oh, this is behind the screen. And this is, this is the back door. We should remember that. Phil wanted me to take all the trash out before talking to Eric. Oh, that's the basement. Eric is down in the basement. Ugh. I feel like Eric is probably a, a weird dude. Just sitting in the basement all day. Another trash can. Two more. There's probably one in the men's room. Yup. And there's probably one in the girls' room. I'm allowed to go in here because my name is Erica, I think. Was it Nikita? I don't remember, but I'm a girl, so I'm okay. All right. We have all of the trash. Now we can go outside. Down here. Is that it? Oh, what the heck? Excuse me. Yo, How did you get in here? Can you spare some change? I don't know. Can I? Man, don't you know not to sneak up on people like that? Please, young lady. Help an old junk get his booze <laughs> for Halloween. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that, bro. You have been told not to hang around back here. This is private property. All right, now so we know this guy. Here. That's probably why I'm not that scared. Bah, forget you. You ugly old... Damn it. I Am I ugly? Eric to double check the lock on the gate. I don't know how it keeps getting back here. Okay, so what we just learned is that this place is not secured at all. This uh, this homeless guy always manages to get in. As a matter of fact, look, the gate is literally open. I don't even see a lock anywhere. He's leaving though. Can I can I talk to him again? Can I block him? Yup. All right. Where is he even going? Oh, he's got his little um. <laughs> I guess this is his house kind of his means of travel got like a sleeping bag he's got everything he needs even got a, a wet floor sign it's nice to him. all right buddy i'm uh, i'm talk to you tomorrow probably will he actually grab it and leave oh no he'll just sit down all right that makes sense so technically there's four other people on this night shift with me so once again more reason not to be scared at all right now we're supposed to talk to eric in the basement oh this is where we keep all the film oh that makes sense oh what up eric i told you guys he'd be a weird dude <laughs> Nika, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, buddy. Hey, Eric, how are things? You're looking pretty mellow right now. <laughs> yeah, nothing's gonna harsh my vibe tonight. That's for sure. I think he just jinxed it. Let's just say I got my hands on some high quality brownies. You can have one if you like. You say brownies? Maybe after work, I don't Dude, I made brownies this week, work. but they didn't make me act like this. No worries. Just let me know. Anyway, what brings you down to my corner of the world? Phil sent me to grab the footage for tonight so I can test it before we open the doors. Phil's always worried about the show. But yeah, it's right on the table. It should be good to go. Thanks, Eric. Oh, by the way, I ran into that homeless man out back hanging around the dumpster again. Mm -hmm. Ah, bummer. I'll head out back now. Make sure the back gate is locked. Hmm. Is he really going to do that? Because it looks like he's almost ready to fall asleep. 
He's kind of dressed like a security guard, so I think he's supposed to be like the technician slash security dude at this cinema. But uh, I don't think he's going to do a very good job tonight. So uh, we got that going for us. This is the movie we're supposed to test out. So now we can finally go to the projector room. See what movie this is. We saw they were going to play Nosferatu, Night of the Living Dead, and uh, Haunting on Hill House. So which movie is this? It's probably one of the three, right? Or is this something we didn't see on the sign? Is this a special showcase? Okay, we're in the projector room. How does this work? Uh, oh, this is the projector. That's the movie theater. Uh, we got my inventory. Oh, it's Nosferatu. Uh, how exactly does this work? It requires the top feeder canister to work with film loaded into it. The canister should be on the table close by. Uh, is this the canister? Okay, now we can use it. Wait, are we actually going to watch the movie? I'm pretty sure it's royalty free, right? So don't strike me, YouTube. This movie is public domain. I think... Oh, yeah, it's the dude from Spongebob. Is this the game? The game is literally we're going to watch this movie. I'm down. I didn't bring my snacks. Hopefully you guys did. Wait, why is the movie sped up like this? Is it supposed to be like that? There's the guy, Nosferatu. He kind of looks like Willem Dafoe. If you know, you know. Oh, that's creepy. Uh, why, why is the camera zooming in exactly? I think the movie's almost over, right? It works. Should be good. We can tell Phil the movie's fine. What the heck? Hold on. Wasn't that the guy from the main menu? I don't think he was in the movie. Dude, this movie's like from 1922. Can you imagine 1922? You go to a movie theater, and the moving pictures are still pretty new, and you watch this movie. Uh-oh. Wow. Did I just hear something break? That test footage was actually kind of creepy. I'm all done up here. I should get down to the snack bar and prepare for the show. Okay, so we didn't we didn't notice that there was something off on that tape. Y'all saw the gesture guy that we saw on the main menu? I know for a fact he's not part of the original movie, because I actually watched it. So, uh, I guess I guess our main character here, she's never watched Nosferatu. So she wouldn't know, but uh, we already know there's something wrong. Let's see how long it takes for her to figure it out. For now, we're just going to have to work at the snack bar, uh, which was over here. We're going to wait for our first customers to show up. Okay, this should be pretty easy. Wait, we actually have to do our job? Admit guests as soon as they arrive at the box office. Once they're inside, serve them their orders at the snack bar. Switch between Nika at the snack bar and Ben at the box office by interacting with the small service bells. Wait, we can switch characters? GTA 6? Okay, this is actually cool. So we got Nikita working here, selling the snacks. And then obviously we got to sell tickets first. So we should probably switch to Ben. Oh, this is us at the box office. What? This is cool. Why is everybody dressed up? Oh yeah, it's Halloween. Hello. Can I get a ticket, please? Uh, so we're just selling general tickets. So now we're playing as Ben. This is cool. Can I leave? I can't. All right, one ticket for you, buddy. And we got money. Okay, so now he's going to go inside. He's probably going to get a snack. So we should switch back. What? I like this. Hello, I'd like some snacks, please. Um, What kind of snacks does he want? Uh, Can we just pick anything we want? Like, he wants soda? Do we know which soda he wants, though? It's green. Is that a thing? I mean, there's two green drinks. I'll just give him a Mountain Dew. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that's okay. Is it? Yup. And then he wants... It, is that an ice cream? I think that's an ice cream thingy. Oh, uh, where's the ice cream at? Uh, what kind of ice cream does he want? I mean, vanilla is always fine. Hopefully, hopefully you don't mind me picking everything. Oh, that wasn't the right one. How am I supposed to know what he wants? Uh, oh man, I got all this stuff in my inventory now. Let's get rid of all this. Maybe he wants strawberry. Is this it? Wait, but how, how am I supposed to know that? All right, so last thing he wants, I think this is some kind of snack box. Is it this one right here? Yup, that was a good guess. Enjoy the show, buddy. Oh man, I spent so much time on this one customer. I have a feeling the box office has a whole line. Does it? Oh no. Oh, is that the only person that's gonna visit? We made like what? $10 off of this. We made like 50 bucks off of the snacks. That's like 60 bucks a day. Oh, another person. Why are they all dressed up in green costumes? All right, 
course you can have a ticket. It actually takes a while to print out the ticket. I feel like I should use that for my timing. Like when I'm printing out the ticket, I can spend that time getting some snacks. And then when the ticket is done, I can sell it. How much is one ticket? Hold on. How much money is that? Enjoy the show. Oh, okay, he's going to walk in. It's nobody nearby. So I think it's safe to switch over. Oh, whoa, you're fast. Hello, I'd like some snacks, please. So I'm really just supposed to guess what snacks they want. Oh, they want a drink. Oh, wait, we need an empty cup for that. I mean, Coke. I think Coke is fine, right? Everybody likes a Coke. Nope, not a Coke. All right, I was wrong about that one. Maybe they want a Mountain Dew again. Because it is green, but I don't know if that color actually matters. Am I really just supposed to guess everything? Nope, not a Mountain Dew either. Maybe a ginger ale? Y'all want a ginger ale? I feel like there's something I'm missing. There's a way for me to figure out what kind of drink this is without guessing. Is this the one? Yeah. All right, and then they want a hot dog? Is that what that is? I'm not gonna lie. I don't think we sell hot dog. Oh! I'm dumb. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, it says right here what the current order is. Uh, did they say that in the tutorial? Because I was not paying attention, obviously. So they want a plain hot dog. They want chocolate-covered peanuts. Chocolate-covered peanuts. Oh, wait, we already got that. So all we need is a plain hot dog. How are we supposed to get that at? We got pizza. We got pretzels. Um, We got a radio. We got ice cream. Oh, we got hot dogs right here. We need a, a bun. I need a basket. Oh, my God. I could kind of go for hot dogs right now. I'm not going to lie. Hot dogs with some mustard on them. Ooh, some onions. Mm. I don't have any. I, wait, did I not grill the hot dogs? Oh, I left it right there. A plain hot dog for you, miss. Enjoy the show. All right, now that we know how this works, it should be way easier. Let's sell some more tickets. I mean, I wish I could sell more tickets. There's nobody else here. Hmm. Oh. This sounds pretty. That ice cream truck? Hey there. Who is he looking at? Should we should we tell Phil about this? I mean, was it? It is Halloween. That is the third person we've seen today that's dressed up. So is it really weird when you think about it? Okay, so we're not selling any tickets. There's only two people at the movies. And we're, oh, there we go. Another guy. He's not dressed up, I think. Nope. He just he just likes to wear that. He doesn't even know it's Halloween. Hey there, buddy. You want a ticket? Go ahead, bro. Everybody's waiting for you inside. What does his cap say? Boss. Enjoy the show. All right, let's switch over. Let's get this guy some snacks. Oh man, this is awkward. Why does he look like, um, what's his name? Okay, current order, tortilla chips, cheesy chips, hot dog with condiments, and a plate. Bro, you're here by yourself. All right, let's just get him what he wants. He wants a plain hot dog. He looks like, uh, Timberland. Uh, wait, he doesn't want any, he wants a plain hot dog, so no nothing on it but he also wants one with condiments so let's go ahead and make him one with condiments first so we need to grab the hot dog and then uh we need to use this now we got the hot dog with condiments wait did i mess up some wait did i leave it oh my bad i left it right there that was weird right and then we're gonna grab another hot dog uh-huh a plain one and now what else does he want he wants cheesy chips and tortilla chips we got cheese we got tortilla enjoy the show all right i'm so happy i figured out that this thing was here because ah uh, this video would have been rough it would have been real rough if i never figured this thing out should we turn on the radio i don't like these tunes switch back over oh my gosh what is up what are you supposed to be a robot one ticket of course There you go. That'll be like $20. Thank you very much. You guys see that uh, fire hydrant or something over there? Whenever I look that way, I think it's a person standing. But I'm pretty sure it's just a fire hydrant. I can't really tell from back here. I'm not wearing my glasses. But um, if that's something else, y'all, let me know down below. Because I hope it's not a person. Oh, wait. I forgot. Uh, I'm supposed to sell snacks. Oh, <laughs> how long have you been standing there? So what do you want? You want orange soda? I got you, buddy. Uh, orange soda. Wait, do you need an empty soda cup? What else do you want? You want popcorn? Finally, somebody who's getting popcorn. Sweet or salt? Doesn't matter. 
and he wants real nuts <laughs> bars and he wants tortilla chips we can do that popcorn okay i'm getting pretty good at this where's my soda at enjoy the show let's switch back to eric or ben this is ben uh pfft. oh did y'all see that somebody hiding behind that sign i'm pretty sure i just saw something move guys yeah no hold on uh, i'm not sure if that's a fire hydrant but i'm pretty sure somebody was back there which he's gonna walk by is she gonna see him hmm it's kind of weird hey there witch you can have a ticket did you not see anybody hiding back there when you walked up here no it's, it's like i saw a shoulder for a split second all right enjoy the show so so far the only creepy things have happened with ben which is good because ben is like outside so nobody's broken into the movie theater should be fine uh, let's go ahead and sell some snacks oh hey there plain hot dog do people really eat plain hot dogs ain't, ain't that like i don't know boring uh pretzels uh, i need an empty pretzel mm -mm, pretzels and a dew soda i got you here's your pretzel miss oh i could go for a a, a fresh pretzel i've never had that i feel like it would be pretty good Enjoy the show. Let's switch back to Ben. Let's keep our eyes open. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary. Can we crouch? Can we do anything other than stand here? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Hey. Are you blindfolded? Oh, no. He's got a mask on. One ticket for you, sir. Enjoy the show. Okay, let's switch back as soon as he walks in. Make sure we don't see anything else. Oh, we should be good. Oh, right on time. Chocolate covered peanuts. Oh, yeah, that's like a crowd favorite. There's like four people that got that so far. A hot dog with condiments. I like you, sir. Finally. Hot dog with condiments. Uh, rainbow candy. Do we have that? Uh, gummy bears. Rainbow candy. I can barely read that. Uh, and he wants gummy bears as well. All right. I'm getting you your hot dog. I don't like that sound effect. <laughs> Switch back to Ben. What the? I swear I just changed the bulb on this lamp a few days ago. Better check the light switch. Oh, where's the light switch at? Is that it? It works. Okay. That's weird. The light stopped working. That's that that that's strange. It's not creepy. At least not yet. How did this get here? There's only one door that leads into here. Is this a jack-in-the-box? Okay, something fishy is going on. How the heck did somebody put this down here? Wait, they probably put it through this little hole over here that I put the tickets through. But I only turned around for like two seconds. Whoa! Hey there, buddy. Ah, yeah, hilarious. You want the tickets? You scared the hell out of me. That's a cool costume. Do you want a ticket? Oh my god, here I was worried about somebody breaking into the movie theater. But this creep doesn't even have to break in. All he has to do is buy a ticket. If he's got $10, we're cooked. He's gonna go in there and probably uh, kill all of us. Okay, he wants a ticket. Well, you don't say much. Anyway, it's $7. Only $7? I mean, that still sounds pretty expensive for 1988. Does he even have money? He doesn't look like he has money. What is he doing? <laughs> uh, uh -huh. I don't think we accept that. Very funny. But if you want to see the movie, you need cash, man. Okay, so he's not gonna get in without any money, right? What the frack is that? I hope it's a ribeye steak, because uh, if it's not, then what the heck is that? Who is that? Take your shit and kick rocks, weirdo, before I call the cops. Nah, bro, I feel like you should call the cops regardless. That looks like a human organ. And he's not even taking it with him? Bro, this is a health hazard. You know how many people touch that? You're going to keep selling tickets. Uh, people are going to be touching that, now and they're going to get sick. This mess. What the hell even is this? Hopefully it's just a fake Halloween prop. 
Oh yeah, it could be what fake. Okay, we're not gonna investigate it. I was kind of curious to see Damn what it, it was. There's gotta be some <laughs> booze or money around here somewhere. Dude, we're playing as the homeless guy. GTA 7. I, I did not expect this to happen. We're probably going to be switching through all the characters that we've seen so far. All right, so we're the homeless guy. I don't know where we are. We're not near the movie theater. Uh, So we're supposed to find money or something to drink to warm us up if you catch my drift. Looks like we're in a park of some kind. So I'm just going to leave my stuff over there. We can actually sprint now. I don't know if we could do that before. Oh, I think that right there is the movie theater. So we're actually not that far away. So we know that there's a creep roaming around, but this homeless guy does not. So, uh, let's see what's gonna happen to him. Wait, I already... I've already been here, though. I already know nobody's gonna help me over here, so why even try again? How do I even get there? I can't even go over there. Can't jump the fence. Yeah, I guess I'm not... I'm just supposed to find something in the park. Unless I'm missing something. Creepy alleyways. Uh, there's literally nobody else here, so I don't know who I'm supposed to ask for change. Wait, maybe people uh, put change in this... In here, you know? A wishing well. Nope. Back here, perhaps? Nope. No luck, guys. I'm really supposed to think and figure this out. All right, here's my plan. I'm just going to check out every single corner in this park. And hopefully, I'll figure out what I'm supposed to do. Wait, I'm dumb. Never mind. I don't have to do that. Tell me tell me, y'all saw this gate before me. Because look, it literally blends in with the rest of the fence. How was I supposed to know this was a gate? All right, so we can actually go back here to the movie theater. And look at this. They still didn't lock it. Wait, can we actually go inside? It's locked from this side. Too bad. Can we uh, go through the trash? Nope. All right, so they actually locked it. I mean, that door. This door is still wide open. I can actually go over here now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. This truck looks kind of familiar. I think I've seen this before. What is that? There's a bunch of boxes. There's also a very conveniently placed door right there. See, if I was a creepy clown that kidnaps homeless people for a living... I'd probably jump out of that door. So let's let's stick to the wall. Oh, well, I guess I was wrong. Can I even open this door? Nope. All right, this uh, this is like those uh, white white vans that say free candy, except this time it says free drinks. Am I really gonna fall for this? I mean, like, there's literally it looks like there's blood on the walls of this van. So like, uh, am I just gonna ignore that? I guess so. It must be my lucky day. <laughs> At least now we know where those organs came from. Hey, wait now. <laughs> so I am wondering, is this like in chronological order or did this happen before he tried to buy a ticket? Like, how does this work? Man, that hobo better not be digging through our dumpster out back again. I should go make sure the gate out back is locked. All right, now we're playing as... What's his name? I think I think this is supposed to be Eric or Nick. I'm not good with names, guys. I'm not good with names. I'd forget my own name if I didn't write it down so many times. All right, so now we're going to go back there and see if the gate is locked. But the homeless dude just got killed. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's make sure we lock this. This doesn't look too good, guys. Should we call the police? Oh, no. We're just going to follow the blood. I hope that Hobo didn't hurt himself or something. I better take a look around. We got good intentions, but still, there's this much blood. Uh, call an ambulance, at least. We're gonna go into the park. We got good intentions, guys, but uh, bad, bad execution. But then again, we don't know that there's a creepy jester clown dude murdering people around the movie theater. So can you really blame us? I mean, we know, but this guy doesn't. This is a lot of blood. What the hell happened? I better keep looking. Do you hear what you're saying? That's a lot of blood. What happened? Let's find out. No, that's a lot of blood. 911, come here. So we know the hobo homeless guy lives around here. Wait, the blood stops near the fountain. It's right around the corner. Uh oh. Do we call 911 now? Trick or treat. Wow, his head decomposed quick. That's gross, man. What the heck? I need to get inside now. See, I told you, bro. You should have never gone outside in the first place. Let's start running. We're going to follow the exact same blood trail. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what the homeless guy did. And it didn't end well for him. Let's go back. Hey, we might actually make it. 
I don't think we locked the door though, so the clown's probably inside. The clown is inside of my body. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. I need, I need, I needed that. I needed that to live. Can't, can't live without the rest of my body. All right. So we did not like the back door. Wait, that's the end of the demo? Dude, I was just starting to get into it. Oh man, we're gonna have to play the full game when it comes out, cause this is actually pretty cool. I like working the night shift, especially the part where I switch between characters. As a matter of fact, I like the whole vibe of the game. You know, it's set in the 80s. We got like a Halloween night. We got a creepy clown. We got multiple characters. I liked it. Make sure y'all check out the game down below in the description. And in the meantime, check out this other night shift I worked.